Is my is my mic on this time? <laughs> on uh off off mode, yeah. Hey, right, let me know how my volume is. Filling up my fries with screams, I understand. It's relatable. Screaming for fries, yeah, you know. Screaming for ice cream is all. Probably the really. I don't know what they're considered. The ones that they serve at steak and shake. I like the ones that are like crispy. Uh. So... Is like actual favorite type. I don't even have a favorite restaurant. Arby's are very good. Yes, I like waffle fries though too. I'll eat any kind of rice, sweet potato fries. going in and out of the mic. God damn it, my mic fell. Thank you for letting me know. Ugh. Mike, what are you doing? Okay, okay. Yeah, um, sometimes I, I might not have tightened it enough. I don't know. So my mic was dancing on its own. Have a dance party. fries are free hello guys I'm a child
I was like, this is gonna be too hard to try to, uh... Come on! Best kind of fries are the ones in my mouth. I, I zoomed out instead of in. As you guys can tell, I actually, uh, I actually inked this one, uh, by hand for a change. Uh, I haven't actually, lately I've just been doing, like, sketches or just doing full digital, so. I don't know. I went back to my quote-unquote root. Not really. I mostly do this when I was, uh. So, uh, my classes are airing, nearing the, uh, end of their session. So, uh, it's, it's a lot of, like. Like half hour lectures and then hour work times. So I, I did this while I was in a. I worked too. I didn't actually have any notes about uh what kind of what kind of shoe shoe. I assumed since uh going with the uh like you know uh Japanese look uh that I I should uh give her like Gata or something akin to it's a fantasy it's it's D D it's a D D character oh, I ran into something okay I ran into my mic that is the one problem with this setup. The mic is like right in front of my face and in front of my tablet. Maybe I should switch to the headphone one. It's not as nice or crisp. It's getting in my way. I keep bumping it with my tablet pen. exciting today I just got stabbed and then uh, and then my knee is still hurting pretty bad but I'm feeling a little better very tired but my temps back down to under 100 it's still 99 but it's under 100 Mike god damn it I'm right in front of the mic what the hell Okay, maybe now? It might have been clipping me because there's too much suppression. Being it a little, not a lot like last time. It is like right in front of my face, like literally. Basically making it out with you guys. This isn't an ASMR stream, Twaifu. Weird ASMR, mic eating, yeah. That's somebody's kink somewhere, right? Yeah, I followed my line wrong.
Bong is making weird noises behind me. Oh my god, ASMR pouring. Damn, I didn't pick it up. He's pouring water or something. It's, why is it yellow? Tea. Hey! Oh, it's tea. Oh I was like, why is why is there yellow water in your water bottle, Wong? Is this is the water of his people? <laughs> I was just like, I was like, where did this? Like, yeah, I didn't know he made tea. I've been gone all day. I have, I have a, uh, what do you call it? An excuse. A viable, yeah. That's why I was confused. I was like, wait, why is this water not watercolored? What is watercolor? Like Pepsi Clear, right? What was that? Pepsi Max? Was that what it is called? Is it like Crystal Pepsi? I don't even remember. Yes, guys, I was alive for that time. No, guys, I was not old enough to actually remember it. I'm old. I'm not that old. And we'll go ahead. Oh, it's your teapot. I died. Don't worry. It happens. I do. I don't remember what it is. The key I don't touch. Is it? Actively partner with executive and finance teams with the openness. To get. Wow. Shit done without ego. What? what eh? That's that's not a very. uh. I feel like so many jobs uh, nowadays are expecting so much for so little. They treat people like shit. How do I not get jobs? Uh, it's because you're too qualified, Twaifu. Edgy. Wong, are you out here writing all these job, uh, these job things? She has another hand. Most people have two. How without the ego? Oh, you gotta try harder. I like the sticker. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not even an issue of ego, like. When you're hiring somebody and you're treating them like shit, it's not an issue of ego when they stand up to you or tell you, please, you know, treat me with respect. I was to say that old saying, do unto others as you would have others do unto you. That's the biggest problem I find with a lot of these, uh, these people nowadays is they expect you to respect them, but then they don't respect you. Like, obviously, my, my job situation is fine with my current supervisor and stuff. Yeah, I felt like that even at my old job that, uh... It wasn't always being respected for, uh, the time and skill and stuff I put into it. And I know, like, uh, listening to people on, like, the Discord and stuff, uh, I, I feel like a lot of people are still in that boat. I know that's a big reason so many people have quit like certain jobs and stuff too. Hi, Godswing Kitten. Thank you for looking. Ooh. Yes, I know. I'm just drawing over her. Uh, I need to put her stick in her stick. I 
mean, of course, there are there are going to be people who don't have the right attitude for a job and who uh, are going to be a bit like uh, argumentative. Yeah, that's a, that's a word. But I I don't think it's as much as people are saying it is. And the problem is too is you you gotta you as the employer also have to treat your employees with some form of dignity. And no, not pizza parties. Quotable. I know Twaifu, you just went to pizza parties. Okay, let's go ahead and uh finish this. There, I really drew it badly on the original sketch. <laughs> it should have some curvature, but not to that extreme. Do you steal the pizza parties? Working remote, I am the pizza party. I believe that one. That's horrible. Get rid of it. Remote working has definitely changed uh, the, uh, the like the market and stuff too, though. I don't think it's actually a bad thing, though. Especially because productivity on a uh, on a whole has gone up. Now I can't work remote on uh, like the teaching. I sometimes do. What the hell is going on here? Maybe this sign is. I think I see what I can do to fix that. Like yeah, I can't exactly uh, sort comic books. Uh, well, you know not at the store. That hard. I did some of my classes. I do some of my classes online occasionally though. Keep it going. Our kids, don't leave my but be don't be like me. Use your references correctly. Oh, make your line arts planning. It's not my skill. I used to always draw off the page. That's why so many of my characters don't have their feet drawn. It's just because I drew off the page and I was like, eh, I don't feel like giving them. Right? Wong just made a sad noise when I said that.
ASMR Wong. I mean, isn't that just Wong every day, though? Wong is uh, notorious for his uh, screams and his weird noises. I mean, I know it's been a while, but you, a lot of you guys used to hear Wong screams all the time uh, before we had our whole setup. That looks a little better, I think. It's still kind of bent, but it's supposed to have a bit of a curve. Is wrong. What is wrong? Oh, maybe that. A chicken cross body bag. I don't know why I thought you were gonna be like a chicken cross a road in a body bag. That that makes less sense. Just saying. You're right. Definitely a very long thing. I think I know which one you're talking about. Um, I, I mean, it could be a different one, but. All exist on the internet. Aha, there we go. That should look a little better, I think. Yeah, I think that looks less like I just bent the stick and more like it. All right, let's go ahead and delete the parts of her hand I don't need now or in the stick. A chicken cross the road with a body bag. That's it. Wong was in the body bag. I'm sorry, you guys. That's it. The end of that. Chicken has killed Wong. This is why I drew this, uh, the staff on another uh, layer so I could, you know, do this. Not have to complicate it too much. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if I saved my notes on her color reference or if I have to actually go back and look. Why are you logged? Nobody wants that. My gosh, guys. Good to see some coloring for a change. I gotta give her like a really simple background. It's it's more of a like a, a reference than a, any. So yeah, I, I finally had somebody uh hop in tier to the tier that gets a, a free art when they join. So uh if I have her notes in my in my in my uh yeah, it's a folder, you know, full of folders. Nope, I don't. Okay, I think. Down here. No, brown eyes, gray hair. Oh, I didn't do the stat. I didn't do the hat because I wanted to draw her, uh, her ears. She's a bunny. Bunny, 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 bunny. I don't know it's on her skin though, so I guess I'll just wing it. AK just give her a really generic skin color. I uh, guess I know people have yellow skin. Yellowish tones to their skin, sir. Olive oil. Wong says his skin is olive oil. But yeah, um, a lot of times in like uh, a lot of art and stuff, they go with the paler tones. Uh, but that's not always true. I don't know. That's just it. I'm like, I don't know if I should have gone with a less red tone. Sorry, I think in terms of like uh, the base color. 
I'm not saying you're basic Wong. Are you basic white girl Wong? Wong says he's a basic white girl. That's why he drinks his tea with no sugar and pours it out of a water bottle, questionably. Oh, I know you're a basic white girl, Twaifu. You and your, uh, what are they called? Thank you, pumpkin spice lattes. I don't like pumpkin spice, guys. I'm a horrible white girl. I also hate those, uh, those, what are those, those Ugg boots? You asked me, they're pretty ugly. You're right. Uh, Kevin is definitely a basic white girl. I agree with that one. I like fall. I like apple cider, though. I will say, some people actually can pull off those Ugg boots. Wait, why are you not wearing socks? That's lewd. What? People don't wear socks at home since when? All right. Guys in my chat, how many of you guys wear socks at home? I wear socks at home. Kitten, you wear socks at home. Yeah, see? <laughs> my family is odd. I wear socks except for when I'm wearing sandals or in the shower. I do not shower with socks on, guys. Yeah, my feet get cold too. Please tell me. Yeah, but you have to have socks with slippers. Otherwise, it feels weird. Yeah, see? Wong thinks our family is weird. No, they don't, Wong. Yeah, I've got slippers on. I've got socks and slippers, which reminds me I need to buy a new pair of slippers. These slippers are starting to tear. <laughs> Go back to your country, Wong. <laughs> Wear socks to the wedding. Everyone wear their nice dress shoes and socks. You're all fired. I don't know. I just, my feet get cold so easily. Except for Wong. <laughs> Why do we need Wong? I mean, he takes good care of me, so I, I think I need him. Yeah, I guess I'm just like, even in movies and stuff, they always wear socks, right? He is the officiant. Oh, OK, that makes sense. Yeah, I bet you, like, I, I do not, I can't, like, watching shows and stuff, uh, most of the time they wear, they wear socks. Like, to bed and stuff. I mean, sometimes they don't. Good luck, he will ban socks. But yeah, some people wear shoes. Oh my god, that makes me think, uh, I saw this really cool Kingdom Hearts art the other day, and then I noticed that, uh, Kyrie had her shoes on the bed, and that's about where I ended. I stopped being able to look at it all thanks to Wong. Socks for the Japanese girl. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't wear, definitely don't do, uh, uh, shoes on a bed. I don't even like shoes in the house. The exception is like, I actually have a pair of, uh, tennis shoes. Uh, I have two pairs of tennis shoes. I actually own two pairs of tennis shoes. What? But I have one. If, I, I don't know. Tennis shoe. I don't know why they're called tennis shoes. They're sneakers too. They're the same thing. I know what they both mean. Maybe they're supposed to be, but they're not even what you play tennis in, right? Or are they? But I, <laughs> to play tennis. Okay, see, I guess everyone just plays tennis. Maybe all mainlanders play tennis. <laughs> I was okay at tennis. I, I have some plain white ones. I don't, I call those. <laughs> Twaibu, where's your experience? But yeah, I have a pair of uh, like uh, sneakers, excuse me, Wong, that I have never worn anywhere but in the house. And I only, I use them for uh, like when I used to do ring fit, I haven't been able to because of my leg. But uh, yeah, so uh, they, they are like indoor shoes, but I can't like do the running and stuff in place or anything without us, without it. The term sneakers is most commonly used in North. 
Central and South. See, we're not Northeastern. What the hell is my model doing? Ah, I have her gym shoes. Because you wear when you have to go to gym, you have to change your shoes. Like if you have boots for the winter. What? Uh, wh why would you wear like the sneakers in the snow? Yeah, yeah, Wong forgot snow. I. <laughs> <laughs> Wong's like, right. All right, all right. Okay, so we got weird noise redemption too. <laughs> I like how this has just become a conversation about uh, us shoes. Yeah, so the whole thing with the word ope, I didn't actually realize like how I always thought it was OP and I was like nobody ever says that and then one day I realized I said to somebody I was like oh excuse me and I was like god damn it there's my midwestern showing I need to tell oh my god what? yeah like when you buy something and you're like oh that's a cute dress oh my god I got it at like a thrift store or whatever it was like 25% off okay yeah I do that <laughs> So Wong, what it what it is is like when you buy something and it's cheaper or it's really a like good good discount or a good deal and somebody comments on what you got, you have to tell them what the discount was. Is that normal? I mean I was gonna say I've always done that, but I also didn't grow up rich, so I, I'd like to say that I did not grow up dirt poor. I was like low to mid middle class. And technically uh, I could have been more standard middle class. Just, you know, parents, they do what they want. My dad's the kind of person who would like not do standard maintenance on something, uh, even if it, you know, could have saved a lot of money in the long run. And then he'd have to pay out all the money when it broke. Which is why I tend to do things like take my car in every couple, like uh, at least twice a year to have it looked at. Usually more than that because I got to get oil changes, but I usually just get a full diagnostic done. I know not everybody has the ability to do that uh, or the thing, but my mechanic doesn't charge me for it. So that's why he only charges me if he's fixing something. Uh, he charges me for the oil change too, obviously. I don't get free oil changes. <laughs> Man, wouldn't that be nice? Cars are expensive, man. Makeup artist and dentist. I, I am not gonna offer to be your makeup artist. I can't even do my own makeup. Wong can do it. You can get uh, what is her name? Hyona, for your for your entertainment, right? Gosh, no, my, my wedding is going to be so simplistic. We ain't hiring people like that. Hiring, uh, my, uh, hiring a Spotify <laughs> as our DJ. Oh my God, please get Calafina. I offer it to be their, uh, uh, their handler. And what is it? Translator. That's the word. I don't know what where, where will there will where they will disappear to but after the wedding I cannot I cannot explain that but I don't understand the difference At Wong was talking to me and then I was like that's not in English Alavina Uh, Lizzie, on my way home from work, uh, Magia and Nohara both played. Those are technically Nohara is labeled uh, Fiction Junction, but it's it's a Keiko mostly. Yeah. I also had a Fiction Junction Yuko Yuka song. One can be makeup artist and photographer at the same time. Yeah, don't you know Wong is a famous photographer? I'm kidding, he's not. 
I still remember uh, that one time we did that that uh, showdown by like when he used to live it uh, f further away, and they labeled him in the in the new thing as a uh, as a fa as a cosplayer cosplayer long it's like he made him sound all fancy and famous. Be funny. My rain mirror is going to be a cat. Obviously, it's going to be a Rata. Yes, yes, I know I can pull up the brush palette all size. Photos of kitties. I don't see photos of kitties. Evening, evening. All the past ones. I like kitty photos. I like kitters. Oh my god, so uh Ranafe and Kasumi were over uh and so is Washu. Uh all right, so they were all over for a hot pot on Saturday because I wanted Ranafe and Washu to meet uh in person. Uh and anyways, the reason I'm uh, specifically talking about this is so I don't know if you guys remember, like it's been a while, but uh Ranafe uh joined me for that Kalafina uh karaoke stream, like for a year ago anyways during that one there was a lot of you know meowing going on and arata did not enjoy it so now he always is like giving her a dirty look and just waiting for her to say it he acts like he hates her half the time i mean he likes her but he'll also be just like giving her a death look and then like he'll be okay with her and then suddenly he'll be like no and he started hissing at her it was pretty funny he did that again this weekend it's actually he does something similar with kitten uh so kitten wears cat ears a lot and uh he will hiss at her when uh, when uh she's wearing the cat ears <laughs> or just act like disgusted but if she takes them off he's fine my cat is weird I mean, he's used to other cats and stuff, so it's not even like that. It, it, he does take an adjustment period uh, with newer ones, though. And then we played the Mysterium game that I bought. I really had fun with that one. It's a really good game. I think um, I understand better now too, so I can uh, play it better next time people come over. Many games to play, so little time. Uh, mostly just, you know, when was the last time most of us socialized on a big group uh, level? Because it's not exactly safe. Especially for people like me who are high risk. yes yeah i mean for the most part the only people i'm willing to see are people i know uh with with like what they're going through or like as far as vaccinations and 
Oh, more weird noises. Hey, Galuda. All right. <laughs> Quality. Quality. <gasps> that reminds me, guys. I need to gather a bunch of bad puns. Oh, God, that sucks. Oh, that's always my problem with cooking. I hate how long it takes. I, I definitely hate how long it takes to clean. Is it like a Julian cutter or just like a normal cutter? Wong just uses um, a Nakiri knife, I think. Uh, for cutting onions. Oh, you're reselling. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, that's definitely a, a good thing to research. Oh my god, I missed a spot. Yaba, yaba, yaba. When I, when I got to work today, uh, so my boss wanted to buy it like, uh, one of those like cardboard sleeves to put, uh, comics in for when he has to mail them. But, uh, his wife was like, oh no, we should get these from this distributor cause they're cheaper. And so he did, but then he, they don't have instructions on how to put them together. So he couldn't figure out how to put it together. I figured it out. I took another box of heart. That just what it made me think of those like, oh, yeah, sometimes just because it's cheap doesn't mean it. A lot of cutters are kind of weird to use, though. Love my dishwasher. I do not miss doing dishes by hand. Spaghetti. Overlord. His. I actually knew whose that was. Aha, uh -huh, I know things. Yeah, we got seven boxes of uh, pre-orders pre uh, pre in again, which is funny though, because they gave us a list of, these are the ones to expect next and not a single one was in. <laughs> they were all different ones. I was like, what is going on? I was prepared for these. Oh my God, get back here. Where are you going?
All right, I think he said she had brown eyes. Yeah, brown eyes. Give me her eyes and hair color and like fur curl, 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 color, but that was like it. Guys, sorry, English is hard. and study color theory. What am I doing again? Back here. Uh, Eros was telling me uh, today, which you guys, some of you might remember him from like the raft. And uh, there is a game where you play an anthro, uh, anthro, thick, uh, mouse. And you're trying to find cheese. Hey, I did I see you rolling. Speaking of video games, did you guys see Straight is uh, supposed to be, uh, they're looking at a, uh, a summer release for it? Ray is the game where you go to be a kidders and go on mission. He hating? I believe this. Obviously, RTD is a very hateful feller. So diabolical. I actually don't think I've said this yet, but right and dirty is that how i don't know how the song works uh so i started the kickstarter uh for as written in the stars volume one um and uh specifically the reason i just thought about that is think thinking about people that quote unquote are assholes who really aren't like rtd uh one of the guy, one of my friends who kickstarted it did not tell me that i had the shipping uh the shipping got somehow weirded and it put uh shipping for the us one and two and not just the national and so he got charged shipping and he didn't say anything. It wasn't, it wasn't you Twaifu. I mean, you, you can be an asshole too. That's fine. <laughs> but I messaged him about it and I, I changed it because Wong caught it for me. So I was like, God damn it. There should be like $15 shipping in the U S and I messaged him and then I, I like, I, I had to do some weird thing cause it wouldn't let me change the shipping cause he had already, uh, done it. I buy the books, but not the Kickstarter. Well, this one won't be for sale except for for the Kickstarter. Ah! Thank you, quotable. As written, it's the light novel that's available on Patreon only, though. But if you buy the book you uh, the, for the Kickstarter, you actually get the full color version, which is limited to the $50 tier. Could have done what? Oh, the hydrated feature? Yeah. Uh... I will warn you now, Wong left his on the default. Ah, <laughs> oh, hey, Blade! Sashi Buddy! Actually, I just saw you last night on Akiva Soul Stream. We're your one!
Uh, but anyways, yeah, so when I told him, I was like, I had to do some weird thing to get it off. So now there's a totally new reward is basically what it is. And I had to limit his, so only he got it for the shipping. And, you know, I messaged him because I know him personally. So I'm like, can, can I do something to help make up for the shipping? I'm like, I'm so sorry uh, that, you know, you have to pay shipping. Uh, why didn't you say something? And he's like, well, you have to ship it to me. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's that's not the point. <laughs> You're supposed to be like, why is there free shipping on everything except for this item? God damn it. <laughs> oh, for the Tony stuff, most of them are like, uh, some of them are art books. Some of them are like, well, uh, body pillows or folders uh, or bags. There's like a, like a bundle of bags. Yes, yes, she has no highlights right now. They were all like freebies at different Komi Ks, uh, so that's why. Yeah, oh my, Tony's art is pretty cute. Although I will say, um, sometimes some of his characters look really uh, similar. Um, it's not quite necessarily to the uh, saber face syndrome, but sometimes it's pretty close. I mean, yeah, it's understandable when you look at an artist that you're going to be like, oh, hey, this is this person's art and you're going to see similarities. But like when a, uh, actually, I think one of the worst uh, offenders of this is the fairy tale artist. The Conan faces actually have a very little difference, though. Uh, they're, it, it's not, I don't know, but there there is some difference. Uh, sometimes it's just their features of the nose. Or then you have like uh, Akai and his family all have like the uh, bottom eye, thick eyelash. But yeah, like uh, the uh, artist of uh, of uh, Rave and Fairy Tale and Eden and all that now, uh, his stuff is really bad. A Toriyama, I mean, that's just it. A lot of them do. It, it's an older style, I think. Uh, Ah, oh, god damn it! I didn't erase that part. I'll, I'll get it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I wanted to try to make a cleaner UI, and um, I also decided to finally put the chat in since uh, why not? Well, that's just it. Like I, I remember, um, like I was a big fan of uh, Rave, Groove Adventure Rave. And so I picked a fairy tale because of that. Yeah, and that's just it. It's like I, I was like, okay, uh, Ellie and uh, Lucy have a little bit of difference, uh, just enough. But then I got to uh, like when I saw the Eden Zero or whatever, I was like, wait a second, isn't that just Lucy again? What the hell? Gray and Lucy? I was like, yeah, like, I mean, there's similar designs and then there is the same design. Don't just put them in a different outfit and pretend they're different characters. Another part of uh, a problem I, I think that I'd say uh, that particular mangaka has too is that he also tends to give a lot of them this very similar personalities. Well, that that can be a uh, drawback to it too. I actually uh, stopped reading Fairy Tale because uh, there is a point where he wanted to end it and they didn't let him and it just kind of became crap after that. I like this. I mean, obviously it's the same thing for like even artists. I'm sure like you guys can look at my stuff and be like, oh yeah, that's that's the same artist there. And that's, you know, that's a little different than having all the characters look the same. And I mean, I know with uh, Toriyama, that's part of, might have been the reason some of his designs were so like crazy, like hairstyles and stuff. So they were definitely noticeable of different variants, even if their faces had similar features. I mean, then you literally have Goten as like just a, a clone of Goku, I swear. Yeah, but that's just it. You don't want them to be too close. Yep. Obviously, like the Fate series jokes about that with, uh, you know, Saber face and then Rin face and Sakura face now. But yeah. 
yeah and i think most artists do okay with that but I, that's definitely i think his big that that uh that mangaka what is mashima hiro is that his name i think that's definitely i think one of his biggest flaws is that his characters just look too much alike and they act too much alike Oh, yeah. Well, originally, remember, Chrono Trigger wasn't actually uh, Akira Toriyama's art initially. I... Well, I mean, like to that extent, it was just like, yeah, they, they redid it later and added like a lot more of his art. But yeah, I mean, that's part of it is also like the animation style. You're going to see a lot more similarities. But yes, I'm not saying that he has a huge difference either. Um, I do believe if I remember... Um, Ora Ichiro and uh, Mashima Hiro both actually studied under uh, Tori, uh, uh, Toriyama Akira, which I think is why you see uh, in both One Piece and Fairy Tale all of that same kind of not a lot of variance in uh, character design. But yes, I will not pretend to be an expert on that either, because, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can, I, 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 I just, I don't know, even know how to explain it. There's just, sometimes you look at a character and you're like, wait a second, I've seen this. It's kind of like when you look at people and you're like, wait, I've seen this face before. And then you realize they look like somebody. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I'm actually quite a bit behind on one piece. I used to be super big into it and then uh my best friend at the time kind of um was a mini face and so i kind of just what do you call that got like uh about it I i'm thinking i'm gonna try to, to pick it back up again at some point i can't wait until it's done because it's never gonna be done i swear uh, i know it's it's uh what got like what is it now, like five years left? I don't even know. See, I, I thought everything like uh, the earlier arcs and then like uh, early Grand Line stuff was really good when you were meeting the characters. But um, for me, what really killed it on top of uh, me being salty about the whole friendship getting ruined uh, for no real reason was the fact that like after the time skip, the first story arc was horrible. That that Fishman Island story arc was just god awful. It was so boring. The Straw Hats were barely in it half the time. I was like, I don't care about this person. I don't care about Shiro Hoshi. She's just crying all the time. I don't even know her. But yeah, I know um, it got uh, better again. So that's why I'm like, ah, I guess I'll pass. Uh, I'll try to go pick it up again. That was another thing that always bothered me is uh, early on Sanji was my favorite character. Don't even go here. And then uh, they just kind of like, you know, s forgot he was there half the time. Like I'm thinking of like, uh, God, the arc where Vivi, Vivi's arc, like when they first do that and like uh, when everyone is like pretty much captured and fighting except for Sanji, like they had all this potential and they were making it so cool and then they just kind of forgot he was there again and I was like, God damn it. But yeah, like, so that's a, uh, I don't know. They just, for some reason, he just didn't do much with Sanji. And I also feel like the more and more he was drawing, the more the proportions on the females got skewed. I mean, yeah, we, we know he's got a very uh, unique style in the fact that they got itty bitty waist uh, and big things in your face. The, the the one piece proportions or something. That was another thing, too. And like after the time skip, it's like Nami's boobs got bigger. Like why? How? It's already like 17. Oh, Lily, come on, get the mouse. <laughs> Was that you, Toy Boo? <laughs> Maybe. You saw its fat bottom. Why are you feeding the mouse and keeping it plump then? I 
nice kitten, aren't you? <laughs> I see. I see. I just assume that's toy for playing with my sounds. Do my sea cat grass? Oh my god! Why is that there again? I need to get like cat grass for my cats. Clearly my cats need more shit. Hi, <laughs> Dwaibo. Too much wong. <laughs> I like even forgot what some of those were. You're done for now. I definitely need fresh catnip. So I wanna, uh, I have to like uh, get some money back together again, but I went to uh, get one of those like uh, raised garden boxes uh, and put it in my backyard. And I wanna grow herbs as well as catnip. That's my goal. My cats both love catnip, so. Plus I can attract all the strays from the neighborhood. <laughs> Your black hat is a druggie. Oh my god, I think Kana Kana's probably worse than Ar Arata with the uh, catnip. He just like passes out high, that cat. Uh back when my mother uh had a had a, a cat, um her name was Moko. Uh she was a mean drunk. You gave her catnip and she would like be like all feisty and like nippy and stuff. She was such a sweet cat otherwise, it was so weird. In fact, we used to always joke because she was a feral cat and she was like the friendliest cat ever. So it's like, yeah, that's feral. She'll lose her mind. <laughs> Good. I guess this is the uh, time we tell people don't let their cats do drugs. Yeah, I remember uh, shortly after... Um, Wong first moved up here and there was an incident where I had to keep both of his cats at the time because Chiaki was still alive uh, at my parents' house. I gave them all catnip uh, so they could, you know, calm down a bit. Uh, and uh, like, Arata was there too. And they, at one point, they're all just like passed out on my floor in my bedroom <laughs> or on the catnip. But they were all sitting together. Aw, yeah, I feel like... Like being feral is doesn't automatically mean they're gonna be like uh like a mean or not a vicious cat. I think a lot of times that's just it. They they tend to be sweeter because they just don't want that life again. Uh oh, Wong is waking up this feral cat. Arata is a um so Arata was a uh, a weird situation. So I actually am fully aware of his birth date and everything because uh, his foster is actually somebody I know personally uh, and they found his mummy when she was preggers and they brought her in and the next day she had kidders and she was a feral apparently he's missing some of his caps so yeah we don't declaw our cats but we do uh, trim them uh, trim their toes and then we put like these uh, rubber like silicone caps on uh, to keep Arata because Arata's hobby is running around the house screaming and then launching himself six feet into the air while holding onto the door frame so this way he's not scratching it. Instead, you just hear it squeak as he slides down it. Yeah, a lot of feral cats seem to be less. That was the same with Moko. She wasn't great with other cats, um, except for Kotoha, the kitten. She was okay with her, but that was probably her instincts picking again. But her and Arata never really got around because, yeah, a lot of them just get bullied by other cats. And that that's kind of what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, rabbits are cute but i i think um because i didn't grow up with a rabbit i don't really have an interest in keeping one as a pet i'll go over and pet your rabbit though twaifu when you have a chance that's why you got to move near me and then i can go take care of your rabbit when you're gone oh 
Oh, is that bad? I used to want a, a, a ferret, but um, I, now I don't really. I, they're cute, but they also smell like something. Most vicious shit. Well, yeah, I had a, a one of my friends had a rabbit growing up. She was pretty social. I like the rabbit. I just, yeah, like I said, I just because I'm not used to it. I mean, that doesn't mean I look at a rabbit and go food or anything like that. I would generally eat rabbit, uh, but I, I yeah, I, I just they're not a pet that I would personally think to buy. Actually, at this point, I'd pretty much only want cats and maybe a dog. So. Oh, no, that's sad. I grew up with like guinea pigs and hamsters. Oh, yeah, like that's a thing I noticed uh, when I, I remember when I was younger, um, like it was so weird because my one friend, uh, the, I had two friends who had rabbits and one of them, you know, uh, did what, you know, pretty much most people would do with rabbits where they just left it in the cage most of the time. And that's 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 how I thought you were supposed to take care of it. But the other friend of mine, uh, she had like a playpen and everything and they take the rabbit out and the rabbit would just chill out in the room with us while we were like in there. So that was, it was always a weird thing for me, but I guess that's, you know, a, it makes sense. It's a more appropriate actual way to take care of a rabbit. But I don't think a lot of people do that. I mean, it makes sense because it's the same thing with like, I'm thinking of like a, you know, a dog or a cat. Like you might create them once in a while when you first get them, especially to train them. But uh, after a while, you know, they, they should be able to handle uh, without it. And to be fair, even um, crating, I would say the only times like growing up, the only time my mom really had to create dogs was uh, when we uh, like when we'd go like uh, when we went out of town, it was a new dog. Um, or, or when they were eating because some of them got because they were a lot of them were um rescues uh, some of them got a little aggressive while eating when another dog was near uh she would feed them all at the same time but you know put them in the crates so they wouldn't attack a couple of times she didn't even bother to like lock the door but the dogs didn't like try to get out so it's just kind of her testing it a harness that's good okay my ex had one I mean, that's the biggest thing I would see with that. Unless it's litter box trained, I wouldn't want the rabbit just wandering. I don't remember this evil rabbit. I I'm, I believe you, kitten. Which neighbor? Which which side of the street? Maybe that's why I don't remember it. Probably because if it was a little asshole. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, maybe that's why. Maybe it just bit you. <laughs> no, uh, that's the how I was going to say. I think uh, what, I, what I remember is like in college, that was the house that had the uh, pit bull that would get out. And it was super friendly, but it's also like, yeah, you don't, you don't let your dogs get out. It could get hit. And all animals have their own personality, of course, too. So that that can make it too. And then, yeah, some are just good with some people and not with others. And it also depends on how you socialize them. Like, I'm a little frustrated because I was working really hard on socializing uh, Kodaha, the kitten my my mother picked up before I moved. And I, I swear, she's just lost all of the work I've done because now she'll automatically hide when I when I'm uh, when I come over. And like when uh like sometimes my mom will uh, keep her out or like put her in the bathroom temporarily when she knows I'm coming so I can see her. And like as soon as she realizes it's me, she calms down. But the fact that that's her first instinct is to run and hide is sad. Yeah, I was probably too young. I actually know the family with the pit bull wasn't even that was probably the the second family after that too i just yeah i just remember coming home from college how many times their privil was out and i was like god damn it their dog's out again and i mean he'd come right up to me as long as i wasn't taking the dogs for the walk that's what always worried me is he would get a little um like he wasn't outwardly necessarily aggressive but i didn't like his behaviorism if i was walking one of our dogs 
Ken and I grew up in a freaking zoo, guys. No, we weren't that bad, but we had uh, cats and dogs and uh, lizards and fishies and birds and uh, hamsters and guinea pigs. Frogs too. Turtles. I had snails until uh, kittens goldfish ate them. Oh, hermit crabs. Yeah. Yeah. Anolis. Yep. Little anolis. No, so kitten got this like uh, both kitten and like uh, we you know how they like sometimes at like some of the like the the carnivals and stuff they'll give out like you can get like fishies and bags and stuff. Yeah, the forever living Walmart goldfish. Well, they had like a special. It was actually at Walmart, but they had a special where like something where they were giving out. Okay, bozo buckets. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, kitten got a goldfish, and I got a tadpole, and her goldfish ate my tadpole, and then it ate a bunch of other fish. And then I brought snails home from school and it ate the snails. Like, what the hell, goldfish? And that thing was like living forever. I know it lived way past its, uh, the average, uh, span. Yeah, it ate everything and it lived past the, fan the, 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 uh, lifespan for that kind of goldfish. I think, uh, the only reason it ever died was, uh, my dad, uh, got kissing groomies, uh, which are actually toxic to other fish and it ate one. <laughs> yeah. Poison itself and ate a fish. Like, god damn it! Ah, like, oh no, that goldfish man. I hated that fish tank though because my dad never took care of it properly, so it would leak all over the the room it was in, and that was our playroom. It's like, god damn it. Otherwise, I don't particularly have anything against fish. I just wouldn't want them now because I don't want to take care of the tank. Yeah, we had. There was this like a like a what do you not a. Was it plastic? I mean, it's like those, you know, how you can get decorations for the fish tanks. There was a scuba diver in the bottom of ours. And yeah, that fish tried to eat it. It tried to eat everything, just like Kitten was saying. It ate rocks. It ate everything. If you put your finger in there, it tried to nom on your finger. Resin. Yeah, res I was going to say, it has to be like stone or something that would be waterproof. There's some cool displays, though. Yeah, I, I definitely don't want to get fish or birds again. I'm actually really badly allergic to birds, though, too. Uh, like, which is why I like I like wild birds because I don't have to sniff them. That sounds weird. <laughs> Please don't sniff birds. I'm going to get a bird feeder outside because, yeah. I mean, I know I, I'm allergic to everything, but yeah, that was one of the worst allergies I have is uh, birds. It wasn't even, I just think it was like, because like, I don't know if you guys know too much about like goldfish as you get at pet, at pet stores. Um, so there is tons of inbreeding and stuff. So they generally have some issues, gluttony, but yeah. Uh, so that one had some, uh, I guess it's behavioral issues were that it just, you know, wanted to eat everything. It, it, it had to be like the top of the tank or whatever. Because I don't think it was even an issue of it being hungry so much as it was just a form of it asserting dominance. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Caterpillar. It was really big by the end, yeah. Uh, it, yeah, because that's just it too. Is I think that the, the, it would have gotten bigger, but uh, the fish tank wasn't quite big enough for it to expand. It wasn't like the size of a koi, but it was still fairly big for a goldfish. Hey, <laughs> true. If he kept his friends around, maybe he wouldn't have been so bored. Please do not eat your friends when you're bored. I feel like this is something I'd have to tell my children in class. Just wanna have friends for
hilarious. Eating your friends? I think I'd eat my friends. I know where they've been. Weird thing I ever had to had to tell a student though would definitely be uh please stop hugging the trash can it is not your father. Hey, I did tell them uh a couple weeks back not to lick their front their mom. I swear there's more context than that, but I'm not going to give it to you. Am I allowed to teach kids again? student once decided that I was her father yes me a girl was her fa was her father she was my son uh and her mother was a chocolate pudding cup and she was a moose I guess the thing was somehow a deer in a chocolate pudding cup made a moose I, I don't know he sent me a father's day card that year it was really weird but also kind of cute. I know her parents were so lost. Like, I'm sorry. Your, your child is crazy and I have not helped. Ugh. Fine, I'll be like a normal person and type it. Okay, that's that's all I had for uh, what what colors uh, she actually had. So the rest, I guess, I just get a wing. I had her uh, eye and uh, hair color. What the hell am I doing? Get back here. <laughs> I mean, I teach kids how to do like, uh, well, it's currently the only class I'm teaching is, uh, is, uh, is manga. I'm teaching kids how to draw, you know, Japanese comic books. So that, that's definitely not a, uh, a, a very, uh, it's a, it's a fun topic. So craziness happens. And for the most part, I don't really have a lot of really strict rules in the class because as long as they pay attention and do their work, I don't care. Now, obviously, they can't like beat each other up. I always jokingly tell them that if they want bloodshed, uh, to please do it after they leave my class because I'm not responsible for them anymore. Now, they're, they're pretty much most good kids, though. I've, I've had a couple troublesome students in the past, but... I really haven't had anybody that bad, so. And my age range is all over the place. It's supposed to be a class for like 12 and up, and then we change it to like 10 and up. Um, and uh, with that said, the youngest student I've had was probably eight. The oldest student I've had was uh, a grandmother. I'd say she probably had to be in her 70s. But I thought that was adorable. She took the class because she wanted to understand what her granddaughter was into and tried to, you know, be able to talk to her more about it. And I was like, that's so sweet. I definitely think it's good for parents and uh, like, you know, people like that to try to understand. Hey, 
there's a lot of really good uh anime out there too that are definitely if you're not into like anime or like worried that it's gonna be childish that are good too like i always like um neverland. what no nope, not promise neverland god damn it wong i said good and wholesome not yummy uh, actually, Full Metal Alchemist is usually the one I recommend to uh, uh, people like that trying to kind of figure out what they can watch with their, you know, child or whatever. You know what? Kobayashi is cute, but I don't think I'd recommend that one for a parent trying to understand anime because look, giant tits. <laughs> but yes, Full Metal Alchemist is generally the one I do because it's a very complex and it has a lot of philosophy in there, but it's also just a really good story with really good characters. So, oh my God, Death Note. No, I should definitely recommend them Boku no Pico, right? <laughs> I got it. Ooh, out of Wong. Yeah, I was going to say that that's definitely not what I would recommend either. What did you guys say? What one would you recommend to people like that? were trying to figure out what their children or whatever are into. I think Dr. Stone would be good if they had like uh, if they were like uh, nerdy already, like if they were into like science already. Wong said Dr. Stone, by the way. I'm not just like pulling that out of my ass. Dr. Stone is not a bad series, so I like it. Not just because there's a blonde girl, but it definitely doesn't hurt. I am a nerd. I like the science stuff. My mother, uh, well, she, she technically started with like Pokemon uh, as well, but... Uh, Usually the one that I, I blame for her uh, obsession is Inuyasha. Yes, Inuyasha. That actually isn't a bad one to start, though, either. Um, I would say technically, I think Fullmetal Alchemist probably has more mature themes as far as the psychological, like the philosophical end of it. But I think because of how in-depth it can get, a lot of kids just don't understand it. Where Inuyasha can have, uh, has like... I say mature and I'm not talking like nudity or something. I'm talking like violence and stuff, but I feel like it's less built. It's definitely way less philosophical. So my dad tried to watch an Yasha once when we were out of town and he thought it was over on episode three because Kagame went back down the well and went home. <laughs> There's is so long. It's like, it's over. I was like, dad, did you not notice all the other DVDs on the shelf? I was trying to get him to watch Irresponsible Captain Tyler. I thought he'd like that one. He likes uh, sci-fi, so. I think he watched a little of the Lost Universe and I was like, well, I like that. I don't think I necessarily would have recommend that one for him. It's by the same person who wrote Slayer, so. Not only does it have some of the same voice cast, it's that kind of feel where it's a little goofier and it can have serious tones, but um, it still overall is a like a, a happier story. Irresponsible Captain Tyler is like pure uh, satire. So there's another series called Titania, which is similar as far as satire goes. Uh, but it's like they're different. Like uh, Irresponsible Captain Tyler goes more parody satire. And uh, uh, Titania, from what I hear, I have yet to watch it. Actually, it's another one on my endless list is more uh, serious in its uh, uh, deconstruction of the genre of, oh, hey, you're the hero now. Yeah, several volumes on their shelf. For those who are curious, though, the general premise is uh, very similar. It's basically uh, a, uh, you know, uh, they're in a war against a bunch of aliens and uh they're kind of like well we have to write off uh something to get some money back or whatever so we have to write off so they they send like they make a crew out of like the worst people and put somebody who should not be a captain in charge of it and i can't say for titania but i know in irresponsible captain tyler part of the charm is that like he keeps getting through situations that should be impossible because He's not even that good of a person. He's actually a pretty fucking awful person. <laughs> but he's personable. 
and has and can relate somehow enough to the people that like yeah it's like he he manages to get through like situations where they're like oh the ship should be gone we'll be fine the insurance will kick it and then it doesn't because he survives it and it's it's like that kind of feel to it though where it's just like god damn it tyler and even the crew is like a bunch of people who are like mismatched a lot of dangerous like they 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 fucked up already and are kind of like they know that they're on like the uh um the the, the shit crew or whatever and a lot of them don't get along so yeah th there's a random uh anime you guys have probably never heard of that I if you like uh sci-fi and silliness I like it and it was a good series biggest problem I think nowadays is just finding a series that has a finite ending <laughs> I'm like I'm so f what yeah, because a lot of them are ongoing novel, uh, like novel, like light novels, or they're ongoing manga. It's like so hard to find one that just ends. Where I know back in back back in my day, back when I first started really getting into anime and manga, a lot of them at least had finite endings. Even if technically the story wasn't over, they would have an ending. So like for instance, like fruits fruits basket got the reboot, which I I still haven't watched. I, I just can't make myself do it. I like the ending. I know it was different than the manga, but I didn't actually enjoy the manga ending. <laughs> or I should say rather the manga ending itself was fine, but I didn't like, uh, like I didn't care about all that extra stuff in there. I'm sorry. I'm not a Yuki fan. I was a Kyo fan. Oh yeah. Titania is spelled with a T-Y. Sorry. Uh, the song, the opening song is amazing, by the way. Uh, it's, uh, it's called Lost in Space and it's by a uh, psychic, psychic lover, I think his name is. That, that's actually how I found this series was the song because I, I found that artist uh, through another anime series and I was like, I found him through Witchblade. There we go. That, that's the series I found him through. Uh, he did the uh, uh, opening XTC and the ending uh, Kodo. And I was like, I really like the singer and his voice. And apparently he does a bunch of like really uh, general kid sounding shonen anime openings for the most part. But like Titania's song Lost in Space is also a good one. But yeah, that's how I found out about it. And then like, I was like, oh, this looks interesting. And one of my friends uh, that I was at a con with uh, way back in the day was like, oh yeah, uh, if you like Tyler, you might actually like this. It's just more serious, but I don't know what to color her. God damn. I haven't really thought this through. Well, a nice safe bet is to go like a darker color on her hawk. Like, um, a dark gray. I'm going to kind of mess around with colors. I guess I'll just mess around with colors for right now. Uh, Yeah, you should do that. Definitely should. I can recommend you all sorts of nonsense. Uh, so like her coat thing, her, uh, what is it called? A Saori or whatever. Who is nuzzling me? Oh, a race is actually really good. I like that one. Death Note is okay. Um, it definitely doesn't hold up in the long run. That look. I kind of like that. It's a nice, like, splash of color. That's a good starting point. I really like, uh, uh, like mystery and supernatural shows. My, my, uh, my anime tastes are fantasy, uh, dark mysteries and supernatural. Oh, and boys love. <laughs> But I, I do kind of hop around. I'm generally not uh, like folklore series are some of my favorite, but I, I consider those usually under supernatural or mystery. Uh, if you want to watch a series, one of my favorite series that I love to recommend to everyone. It is also a good one to get in. If you haven't seen a lot of anime is Natsume Yujin Show or Natsume's Book of Friends. 
it's a very wholesome series and it talks a lot about uh japanese folklore so if you don't know anything about folklore it's really cool because it teaches you a lot and if you know stuff like i did it's really cool because it's got folklore in it and you don't really have to know anything about it because it, it really walks you th through it I generally don't watch romance series, so. Yep, exactly, that series. Yep. It's all in Crunchyroll. Except for the movie, I think. How many movies are there now? Two or three? They're not really plot relevant, though. They're all uh, not manga original. And it's not, um, you don't have to like watch it and like for the most part, uh, like the movies and stuff aren't gonna be canon or anything, so you're not gonna lose consistency. It's very episodic. Oh. My favorite character is Tanuma. I think he does actually come in in the first season though. I was like, some of the characters don't, but I believe both him and Taki do, who is my second favorite character. Obviously I love Natsume too. And Nyanko Sensei, you know that fat cat I share sometimes in the Discord I like to use the gif of? That That's Nyanko Sensei from Natsume Jinjo. <laughs> Oh, and if you want to go to classics, Cowboy Bebop, for sure. all over in my taste of anime though considering well i'll say a lot of it when i when i was younger and uh the way the way i grew up like watching stuff we pretty much watched everything we could get our hands on so uh kitten and i have kind of watched like almost all the really old ones that are out there like we we went super gory sometimes uh uh actually borderline etchy because uh neither us nor my mom realized how bad some of those series were when she bought them for us Like, for instance, she got Devil Hunter Yoko and Demon Fighter Kocho for us when we were really young, and it was like, oops. Hey, hey, oops. Eh? What, what are we talking about? What kitty is eating people? Is kitten eating somebody? Ah. Well, the fact that I can hear you with my headphones on. Got it. Oh, yeah, she is going to eat people. Don't worry about it. You can have friends for dinner. Don't worry about it. That's not even the right Kickstarter. I should change that. <laughs> Thank you, Ramlock. I forgot about that, 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 that command. God damn, that was from like last year. <laughs> Guys, I actually want to see the real link to the Kickstarter. Give me. I 
I still have my browser up. There you go. That, that's the real Kickstarter link. <laughs> that's that's the right Kickstarter link. Oh my god, that's not even a Kickstarter, I realized. That was for Zuskius's 15th anniversary. God, Zuskius is going to be 16 this year. Why am I so old? I started that series a long time. I must have just rewritten it uh, because I'm lazy. Thank you. Okay, let me go ahead and show you what I got done. So yeah, this is a uh, one of the kick or right, Kickstarter. My God. It's one of the Patreon uh, perks uh, for one of my newest Patreon. They get a free, uh, because of the tier they subscribe to, they got a free uh, full color digital art and they asked for their uh, D&D character, uh, Hayato Izumi, uh, who's a bunny girl. I don't actually know what class she is, but they said she fights with a staff. So maybe kind of monk or something. All right, let's go find somebody to raid guys. Okay. I redid that. I did not redo this. Asian Noob Summer? Yeah, we can go raid, raid Asian Noob Summer. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I think I might have to go uh, edit that. Uh, do something else, I guess. That's so weird. All right, we're going to go raid Asian Noob Summer. Okay, guys, he's playing Gundam. Hopefully he's going three times fast. Okay, the okay man. Woo, let's go. What? 